Hello. You are looking at a radio alarm clock made by Lloyd's. This is a AM FM uh, stereo 8 track electronic clock. This clock is a radio and 8 track tape player, like I just said. I'm gonna guess this was made around uh, 1980. And uh, to begin, we're gonna take a look at all of the buttons on this clock. And we'll start up here at the front. Uh, we'll start off first here with the power switch. Uh, that controls uh, both the radio uh, and the alarm. So the alarm cannot work when it's off. You have AM radio and both uh, mono and stereo FM radio. Our next three controls are the volume, balance, and tone. Balance controls which speaker the audio comes out of. You have the left speaker and the right speaker. Uh, tone is gonna be your bass and your treble. Moving on to the tape player. We have a, a headphone jack. Um, let's see, as well as the program button. And what the program button does, uh, when there's a tape in the player, it'll switch between the four tracks on the tape. So each tape has four programs, and up here, there's an indicator that tells you uh, which program that you are on. So if you don't know much about 8-track tapes, here's one. So if we flip it around, you can see we have program 1, 2, 3, and 4, and it lists uh, the songs that are in each program. And so, program button, that switches between each program, so you're not listening to the same like three songs on repeat. So if you wanted to play your 8-track tape, all you have to do is stick it into the player. And it would automatically start playing. However, uh, the tape player on this machine is broken. So unfortunately we can't hear this 8-track tape. And the tape would keep playing until you pull it out. So moving on to the uh, clock display. We have your AM indicator that tells you if it's uh, 3.49 in the morning instead of 3.49 in the afternoon. And you also have your alarm indicator that tells you if your alarm is set for the next morning. There's also this thing. I don't know what that is. It looks like it's just some sort of logo for something. It's certainly not a button, but if you recognize that, please tell me what that is in the comments. Now the final control on the front is your radio tuning knob. You use this to switch between radio stations and sometimes these uh, are lit up with a light bulb but you really only see that on higher end radios. And there's also a light right here and that indicates if you're receiving stereo audio. Now up top we have a total of uh, nine buttons and to start I'm just going to show you how you would set the alarm. So first, you would set the time that you would like to wake up. And to do that, you have to press the alarm button. And I haven't set the alarm yet, so it's automatically at 12 o'clock. That's just the default alarm. So let's say it's 3.53 and I want to wake up at uh, 4 o'clock p.m. I'd hold down the alarm button then I press fast and that's gonna adjust the time rapidly. There we go. Alarm is now set for 4 p.m. in about six minutes. Now that we have our wake up time, uh, to make sure that the alarm actually goes off, the power switch must be on. Next up, you press this button that says auto manual. And what that does is it shuts off the radio so you don't have to hear it when you're sleeping. And it also sets the alarm. We can now see here that our alarm is set. And now for the alarm sound itself, which you can choose between having the radio play or the buzzer. So when this is pressed, it'll do buzzer. And when it's depressed, it'll play the radio. I'm gonna keep it on the buzzer and I'll let you hear the buzzer as well. So the buzzer alarm, really has been working uh, consistently and right now it's just not working so I'm just gonna play some audio of what the buzzer actually does sound like.
when it's nighttime and you're sleeping. And I know this is true for me, these lights on clocks can keep you up because they're too bright. So they have a button that will uh, dim the light for you so you can sleep. For the final couple of buttons, uh, you have your snooze button, of course. And you also have a button that says sleep. I am not sure what the sleep button does, so uh, if you press it, this pops up. It's set at 48. So my idea is that if you want to take like a, let's see, if you want to take a 55 minute nap or a 54 minute nap, you set this to however long you're going to be sleeping for, and then let's say when the end of that 50 minutes is up, then the alarm goes off. That's just what I think it is. So I know this thing really isn't working the best, but I just thought this was kind of funny. It's off right now, but the radio is still on. Make them 0 and 9. I just think that's kind of funny. I'm going to go ahead and turn our clock around. So I'm assuming here is where the antenna goes. These are, uh, you can plug in two external speakers and this switch decides whether it goes to the audio will go to an external speaker or internal. That will be the end of my video. Thank you for watching all the way through. Please like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.